In the earlier example, we have seen that these uh, medicines, these headache medicine, Tylenol, Paracetamol, and placebo, they are significantly different with respect to the uh, time it takes to uh, reduce the uh, headache. Uh, however, we only know they're different, but we don't know exactly which one is better, which one is worst. To do that, we have to do a test called the post hoc analysis. Uh, which is basically what it says uh, um, after analysis. Uh, it's a generic name. Um, we could, uh, there are many different types of postdoc analysis. We're going to learn the most uh, basic form of uh, postdoc analysis called uh, Fisher least squared significant difference, Fisher LSD uh, pairwise comparison. To do that, the formula looks like this. This is the formula we're going to use. Um, you have seen these formulas before. What is basically the confidence interval for uh, mean uh, two difference between mean. Um, so, if um, so, this if you use the plus sign, that will give you the upper confidence interval. Minus sign, it will give you the lower confidence interval. So let's go ahead and calculate, and then we will explain. Um, what that means in the context and how to interpret that. So let's copy this data to that postdoc uh, analysis page. And um, what we need for uh, to calculate this uh, confidence interval for the mean, we need the mean values. We need T alpha by 20, C, MSC, NIH, NJ, uh, this is stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, calculate this. So xi, um, let's say we want to compare uh, these two pairs. Typically it is recommended that we compare because we have three pairs. We have um, Tylenol paracetamol comparison, Tylenol placebo comparison, and paracetamol uh, placebo uh, comparison. So we have three sets of comparison. Um, it will uh, it will be easier if we arrange the mean uh, from high to low. So let's do placebo first. So if you calculate the uh, mean for the placebo, it's going to be the average, and then select that column. So that's the placebo. And then um, I think I'm going to do this way, basically, Tylenol. Um, copy this and then maybe copy this way uh, control V and then this so this one so that's the tunnel all mean then if I copy drag this it's gonna copy all of that that way it will be easier for me to kind of use the Excel so mean values these are the mean values sample mean and then sample size uh, in so these are x bar this from the uh, samples so that's x population is mu um, we can simply do count if you in case have a different sample size for uh, um, different levels of the factor that will be useful when we calculate this way now the alpha value which is uh, 0 0.05 if we don't say anything so basically for each of these case 0 0.05 and then nt is is the basically the total um, total data point in this case um, the total i have is equal to uh, sum of uh, these I'm going to freeze that so I can copy. So that is the total data points. And then C is basically the number of comparison. The number of is the number of level, you can say. So number of levels, I have three, paracetamol, placebo, and Tylenol. So the degrees of freedom would be DF would be NT minus C which we can say equal to basically this minus this. 
um, typically these days softwares are available so these calculations are not done manually however we would like to see what's going on behind the scene uh, MSC comes from the analysis of variance output so this is the MS um, values and this is the within group variation that's the MSC so let's say control C and then just paste it here like that now if I want to calculate the confidence interval say between the Tylenol and paracetamol so against confidence CI Tylenol and paracetamol and say this is the upper confidence interval um, so we can simply type this uh, formula and then maybe this one is the lower confidence interval We're using minus sign so I just I'm just going to type this so this is equal to uh, xi minus xz plus uh, t value oops let me calculate the t value first we need and calculate the t value so t um, alpha by 2 comma nt minus c that would be uh, equals t inverse um, alpha by 2 would be 0 0.05 divided by 2 comma uh, the degrees of freedom this is the degrees of freedom this is the t value then we can say equal to x minus x x1 minus x2 plus if we use plus that will give us the upper confidence interval uh, t value then sq times sqrt uh, msc and then probably need to use two of this MSC times another parenthesis uh, 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 close the parenthesis close this parenthesis I think this is enough like this Now I can freeze all of these values because all I need to do for the lower confidence interval to use the negative sign. So freeze that and use the instead of plus here, use negative sign here. It's going to give me the uh, confidence interval for lower confidence interval. Now if you plot this um, in a uh, to speak. I was trying to find the ink um, writing option but for some reason my writing pad disconnected but, but that's okay um, so if you look at this uh, lower confidence interval and upper confidence interval um, if you remember the hypothesis the four step um, hypothesis process um, the introduction was uh, writing the hypothesis uh, so let's write the hypothesis for this confidence interval test or this pairwise comparison test so now hypothesis was h0 is mu um, tylenol is equal to mu uh, paracetamol so in the null hypothesis we say that they take same time and then the alternative hypothesis it is mu a which is mu alternative hypothesis tylenol basically they're uh, instead of they're not equal we have some more information we can say tylenol takes more time to get rid of headache than paracetamol so basically paracetamol works better 
uh, in this case we can say paracetamol uh, tx less time we can write the alternative like that now if you look at this um, confidence interval now if these two are equal mm, the paracetamol mean time to um, recover from headache by using paracetamol is equal to the Tylenol then this thing will be zero basically so they are equal means uh, this equals this so me one minus me z equals zero so me one equals me two um, in the case of alternate null hypothesis now you can see that the confidence interval does not contain a zero so basically it's not the null hypothesis that is happening so is the uh, alternative uh, that is happening so uh, step number two we have already done that uh, this thing is called the Fisher LSD uh, pairwise comparison post hoc test step number three the result part we going to write like this uh, extend we're going to write like we um, reject the null hypothesis because the confidence interval does not contain uh, zero. That means they're not equal. Now the step number four, the contextual conclusion would be we uh, paracetamol significantly works better and then we can do all this test uh, for each of these pair and see which one is better which one is worse things like that so this is how we can do the uh, Fisher LSD pairwise comparison in MS Excel